If you're one of millions of people who are gonna travel through this or about 26 other airports in the United States this holiday weekend, you're uh, possibly going to be asked by a TSA agent to have your face scanned by a facial recognition system. They'll ask you to stand in front of a camera and that camera and the live facial recognition software will compare the image it takes of you to the driver's license or passport that you present to the agent. It's a new thing and there's a lot of controversy around it. TSA basically says their current system for checking your driver's license against your face using humans is really only about 80% accurate. And that once you push it to a machine that uses facial recognition, then that number gets to about 90%. They like that Senator Jeff more. Merkley, a uh, Democrat of Oregon, basically had this experience of, of going through Reagan National Airport uh, and getting into sort of trouble when he would say, no, thank you, I don't want to be part of this. He found the TSA agents were highly reluctant to let him through without using facial recognition. One of them pushed him off, not pushed, but put him off to the side for a while. Another one basically told him it was mandatory when it's not. Now, TSA says the whole thing is optional. You can opt out of it. And if a TSA officer tells you you can't, they're wrong and you should ask for a supervisor. So what's the big deal? Well, the ACLU, talk to them, as well, they they say you know the difference. The, the difficulty here is that even though TSA says that you that they throw away the image the second you move through the checkpoint, and that even if another agency, say a law enforcement agency, asked for your photo from TSA, TSA wouldn't even have it. The ACLU points out you wouldn't know if that policy changed, right? A press release might go out that nobody read, but when you physically stand in front of that scanner you wouldn't know in a year or two that now the rules have changed a bit because there are no federal laws requiring them to let you know or requiring uh, that anybody keep you private you know in terms of your biometrics only a couple of state laws apply to that at all so what senator merkley and others want to point out and even the tsa says this is it's totally optional you don't want to be part of it you don't have to something to consider as you're traveling this weekend